My name is Ariella Cantu and I am a forensic scientist in the trace evidence section here at DPS. Often we get evidence from hit and runs and for that type of case we would use a collection technique called scraping where we take the piece of evidence and we use a dull knife of some sort and we physically scrape the evidence item to dislodge any loose trace material. Debris that is dislodged, once we scrape it, we will collect it and screen it on a low-powered microscope called a stereoscope and I will pass it off to a trained analyst. My name is Kylie Morrison. I'm a forensic scientist in the trace evidence section. Uh, on the material side, we're looking at things like hairs, fibers, glass, paint and polymers, impressions. Finding something in a case that could provide that additional information that it didn't previously have, it's the most fulfilling thing. It's um, why we do what we do and just reiterates why every case deserves to be analyzed to the fullest extent. My name is Sarah Hall. I'm employed as a forensic scientist. For gunshot primer residue analysis, we use a scanning electron microscope. This is a rather large particle. It's about 20 microns across, although we are able to detect particles down to about one micron, sometimes even smaller. I became a forensic scientist because I love working in a lab. I love working with my hands and I love being able to apply what I've learned through the years in all of those chemistry classes to real life. I know that what we do here actually has an impact and helps people.